YouTube, I'm back, what's up? So you guys, this is the long-awaited video of the Hot Castor Oil Growth Challenge. Um, that's all. I'm also going to do a recipe, so stay tuned for that. But this is the recipe that allowed me to grow my hair somewhere between 5 and 6 inches, I believe in 2010. Hopefully, if I can dig up the picture, I'll post it for you. Um, so essentially, I'm going to show you the recipe in this video, and then I'm going to show you the technique and go over the challenge with you, okay? So the challenge is... You can do one of two things. You can either do a hot oil treatment, a hot castor oil treatment every week. At the beginning, before you wash your hair, like actually do a hot oil treatment on your hair. And you put the hot oil treatment on and then, you know, go under the dryer and then wash it out, do your regular routine. Or you can um, wash your hair and then when you after you put your deep conditioner on, you can put the... Um, castor oil treatment on and then sit under the dryer at the end. Either way, you either do the hot oil treatment at the beginning or you can do the hot oil treatment at the end. Either way, this recipe really worked for my hair. You know, I kind of got off my hair program after I started working out so much with the trainer because my arms would be so tired and it was just a lot to do the regimen. My hair had thickened up so much and gotten longer. It would take longer to do my hair. So I kind of started slacking on my hair routine. But my hair really responded to this and it will work for you if you are natural or whether you're not natural. If you have a perm, it doesn't matter. Um, the hot oil, the hot castor oil treatment, it's the best and it works really well. And I'm going to show you the recipe right now. Hey, you guys. So the majority of this recipe is going to be castor oil. Take two tablespoons of castor oil. And then you can cut it with any type of other oils that you prefer. The recipe I like to do is one teaspoon of olive oil followed by a teaspoon of sweet almond oil. Then you're going to use half a teaspoon of avocado, half a teaspoon of grapeseed, and one fourth teaspoon of vitamin E. Then I add my essential oils. Here I use two drops of peppermint, two drops of lavender, and one drop of rosemary. Add that into your um, hot oil container. I picked an applicator with an angled spout so that I can control how much goes into my hair and you know control where it goes so this is really good especially if you happen to have like braids in your hair for those of you who may wear weaves you can still get the oil underneath your track to the weave with this angled applicator um so anyway you add that to the bottle and then we're going to heat to heat about half a cup full of water in the microwave and then set the container inside the water okay you guys so my hair is already pre-sectioned into four quadrants so I'm just gonna go ahead and wet my hair and add in my conditioner and then I'm gonna go ahead and finger detangle my hair finger detangling you guys will help with hair retention don't use your comb or brush just simply finger detangle and then I'm going to add in the hot oil treatment and you want to use the pads of your fingers to massage your scalp and really work it all the way through all of your hair then I'm going to twist up that section and after that I'm going to do the rest of the other sections and then I'm going to go under a baggie and go into the dryer for 15 minutes it's very important during this part that when you put the hot oil bottle down that you put it back into the water so it stays warm okay YouTube so make sure you secure the shower cap all the way around the bottom because the oil is going to, as you heat it up, it will drip down and you don't want it to leak and go down your back. And make sure you use a top that you don't care about if oil gets on because that's what I always do. So anyway, I'm going to get under my dryer. I love this dryer, by the way. I'm going to do it on high for 15 minutes, okay? Okay, you guys, so be careful removing the bag from your hair because the water and oil are going to be in there. And then you're going to just um, easily detangle your hair. It will be easy to detangle because the oil and conditioner have done the work. Then you're going to twist it back up and wash the other sections. Coming up next are the rules for the challenge. Okay, you guys, so here are the rules to the hot castor oil challenge so you can hopefully grow your hair four to six inches this year. Number one. Before washing, apply hot castor oil treatment and sit under the dryer for 15 minutes and then wash your hair as normal. Or you can go with step two. After washing the hair, apply your leave-in conditioner and seal with the castor oil and sit under the dryer for 15 minutes. Number three, massage the scalp with the pads of your fingertips for three minutes each and every day. Number four, midweek, you must mist your hair and seal it with castor oil. 
Number five, accountability and support. Every Sunday, you must come to this video and post your comments in the comments section and let us know how your hair is responding and doing. So anyway, um, every Sunday, if you guys, you know, want to send me the comments from people that are doing the challenge, let me know how your hair is responding. You know, you can just you know, post a comment on this video or whatever, and I'll probably post my comments too about how, how, how my hair is doing. Um, everybody, if you can, take your before picture. This is going to be a four-month challenge. So we are in, what, end of January right now? So February, March, April. So basically to the end of May. It's a four-month challenge, and we're going to see how much length you get and, and if you notice the thickness in your hair, okay? All right, you guys, back to washing my hair. Talk to you later. Mwah.